professor of pharmacology and toxicology at the University of Florence, uh, and my work is dealing with drugs and side effects and treatments and toxic petrochemicals. However, uh, I develop interest in other approaches for healing and treating medical diseases, and the dean of my faculty a few years ago invited me to organize a master in the application of mindfulness techniques uh, in the medical field. So uh, after a long thinking, we decided with my friend in psychiatry to organize a master program on uh, my mindfulness techniques uh, and their application medicine. And within this program, we had invited Becky Lee on the show, who is a very uh, relatively old friend of mine. I met her relatively long time ago. And I know her methods, and I thought that our program would greatly benefit for her fresh uh, and uh, innovative approach to the field uh, of uh, mindfulness application. And uh, everybody is familiar in this field uh, with the techniques uh, taught and uh, by the group uh, of uh, the University of Massachusetts, uh, started by John kabat and later by Sartorelli, the famous MBSR. Uh, but, you know, as all procedures, uh, it's efficacious, but it has limitations. And uh, I think uh, the work uh, Becky Lee has done in this year is a step forward. It's an original set of techniques which are at the same time easy to apply and uh, pliable and they, they possibly will produce very interesting results. So I presented her to my students in the master and I have to say the results was quite mm, uh, uh, extraordinary in the sense that we're all uh, very much interested by these new methods. They learn them eagerly uh, within six days uh, within uh, their own uh, in, in small groups uh, among themselves, and they, most of them they're psychotherapists, psychiatrists, and general practitioner, and they have all the intention, from what I, I can tell, to use this method, apply this method, both for their patients, for their clinic, also for their personal problems. So it was a big success, uh, and I'm very uh, uh, thankful to Dick Lee for having been available for this experience, and also I think uh, it was a real good addition to the uh, master uh, teaching because uh, our teaching was basically oriented towards neuroscience, the basic neuroscience, uh, and uh, the classical MBSR techniques. Uh, so the introduction of this new technique, which is visualization and transformation of the problems, I think, has been re really very important addition to the traditional program. And uh, I'm convinced that we, we can proceed from here and make it into a more formal set of studies for the next uh, master programs uh, and it could be a module to be reused in other countries as well. Uh, the final uh, conclusion that we got from this uh, method is that there is no uh, sacred method in this field, uh, it's a rather a new uh, field of application of traditional uh, Eastern techniques uh, to modern uh, medicine and there is an ample uh, space for new techniques and new way of thinking and new approaches that can produce results which in, in my opinion they will be more promising uh, than what we have with the method so far. So uh, I think that uh, these modules about transformative mindfulness should be inserted in all programs of alternative medicine including mindfulness and MBSR because they could expand considerably their potential application, their clinical usefulness. And, and I recommend to my colleagues all around the world to do similar things and uh, to repeat the experience that we had in this master program. Thank you. Thank you.